doing to make money for the cause. But have you ever realized what difference it is making to somebody's life? I'll give you a small example. It is very unusual nowadays when you speak to somebody who say the time has gone long. It has gone past very quickly. Why do you say that? You know, you meet somebody after one year and say, oh my God, I saw you last Christmas and this Christmas has come and the time has just flown. The time is saved 24, 24 hours in a day, 30 days in a month. But you have a comfort feeling. You don't have to worry about the phone on the table. The basic comfort feeling is there. The education of your children, the medical, the fees, etc. You don't have to discourage. So the time is flying by. On the other hand, when there is somebody who is in difficulty, for him, the time clock has actually stopped. In Punjabi, it says, Same Pahara Gawe. Meaning that you can't climb the mountain, it has become so difficult. Time is not being hard. For that poor person who has lost his head of his family, family member, or who has to worry about food on the table for the children, education, clothing, for them the time is stopped, the time clock is stopped. What your money is doing is making that clock tick, tick. Please if you tick that clock so that those people can also have a better life. Now, I know you give money and you donate and everybody has budgets for these things. Six are very generous by the word of our teaching of the great groups and we donate for the religious causes. May I request the management of the SSDF. Please consider to open a property trust fund and all those who are associated with SSDF, they should consider. You have done enough for your children, your families. When whilst you are doing that, just make a small mention but SPF in a way. If such a fund was to be created, I would be in a position to put the first property into that so that the legacy should continue. Please make it clear. Last year also I mentioned, and I will mention this again, that the students who are actually receiving a scholarship, you should give them a small training in public speaking, a little bit of English knowledge, just a two-month, three-month course. The infrastructure is available for that. If you want to do it in Delhi, I am there to provide you the infrastructure in my factory. If you want to do it in Punjab and you consider of doing it, I will give you 500 square yards of plot to build an SHDL power in Mohali. And I mean that. <laughs> this plot, I had invested in two plots with the intention of someday using them for such a purpose. The opportunity is for you to grab. Please think about it. You are very experienced committee members, which is Mr. Gajinder Singh, Mr. Manon Singh, and never to mention Dr. Rajan Singh, who is ever green and ever present everywhere. If you take advantage of their expertise and not let this moment slip by. Thank you very much.
May God bless him with many more years of inspiration and strength behind this organization. I'd like to now call upon Mr. Avinash Singh to come on stage to introduce our guest of honor. Good evening, everybody. Gee, I'm welcome. Thank God it's Friday. Today, we are privileged to have distinguished philanthropist Dr. Bhutan Singh Kabul as our guest of honor. Dr. Kabul started his pre medical studies at Palsa College and received his MBBS degree from the Medical College in Amritsar. He moved to the U.S. in 1965. In his 40 plus years of practicing medicine, he's had a prominent career serving as Chief of Staff at St. Mary's Hospital and Park Avenue Hospital in New York, along with holding numerous executive and clinical positions. He's helped establish the first Regard Asylum in Richmond Hill, New York, and Knoxville, Tennessee. Higher education. Higher education has always been a been close to his heart, and Dr. Kabul profoundly believes that supporting education is one of the highest human endeavors. He's focused his philanthropic efforts on supporting and guiding organizations in areas of education, alleviating drug abuse in Punjab, and providing free medical service where needed. He continues to provide enormous support and advice to SHDF for which we are extremely grateful. Now, I learned a new fact about Dr. Kabul this evening. Turns out, in his spare time, he's creating exercise videos to help eliminate joint pain. So, Dr. Kabul, I actually have a, a little bit of an issue with my thumb. I think I've been texting too much, so maybe you can help me out with that a little bit later. And now, it's my privilege to present our guest of honor, Dr. Bhutan Singh Kabul and his wife, Kamaljeet Kaur. We'd like Mrs. Guti Sidhu and Dave Sidhu to come and present and apply. Thank you. That's what Guru Nanak tells me. 